Hey guys, welcome again to an episode of Sklarbro Country, the virus edition, aka the Pandy Pods. AKA Two Guys One Couch. AKA The Basement Takes, although we're not in the basement, we're in my wife's office. Uh, AKA Two Ombres, One Nombre. AKA Two Stances, Six Feet. AKA Two Jews, No Terry Crews. There you go. I like all these. All right, we're throwing them out there. We're so grateful that you guys have come along for this ride with us. Uh, This, I I have to say, gives us purpose. It gives us something to do through this time to focus on. So we've done a lot of things and you know, we do a lot of things. I mean, we've we've been engaged in many things since our career started and you know what things you're doing that resonates. If you're doing something and it resonates with fans or resonates with people and what we're growing this thing. It's starting. I mean, we basically literally lit a match and we're starting the brush fire that will hopefully consume many acres. Is that a bad analogy? Yeah, I don't know if I so, want to use uh, that. So we are we started it and it's and it's now growing. But the comments that we're getting on the Instagram, which we love so much, thank you to everyone who's interacting. Tell us the things you really like about these episodes because it will dictate how we steer this thing moving forward. We're totally open to what you guys are enjoying and moving that forward. And so. Uh, the comments have been great that we've really, it's set out to do to help you guys get through this difficult time and not think about or listen to the news or any of that stuff. It's different news. It's stuff that's going on, but we're trying to make fun of it. And hopefully it gives you that 30 minute break in your day that definitely can help you out and help you basically re-energize and re-engage with the day. So we're going to get to some stories today. we got some great stuff today and tomorrow. We sort of set up for and I think tomorrow's will then be on Monday right. as we're recording <clears throat> it. But we've got great stories in the next couple of days. So excited to share these with you and a great voicemail that we uh, have today as well. All right. Yes. This is just a note to you. If you're planning on blowing up a statue in New York Central Park during the plan- pandemic, and I know people are. Yeah, people always are. Look, plan ahead. I, li- I like that attitude of not, you don't want to just do it impromptu. I'm going to say this. Don't, maybe, don't text and email your family and ex-girlfriend before you do it. Family is like on the edge Ex-girlfriend, you're an idiot. But if you do decide to do it, your family might be hocking you a Chinik saying, which is like a, a Yiddish phrase meaning like they're all over you. Might be saying that to be like, what are you doing? What are you Keep up me to? posted on what what's going on. Why and do you, you never like, let us know what you're doing? So he texts his fan. Ex-girlfriend, though. I know. And then always let the New York Post cover it because they're going to do a bang-up job of making a bunch of puns, and they're just awful. Anyway. Here's how it started, the article. A mad as hatter Manhattan man. Shut stop. up. Just stop. stop it. New York Post. Stop. stop it. Was arrested for threatening to blow up Central Park's Alice in Wonderland statue with a pipe bomb, according to cops and sources. The sources we will later find out include his ex girlfriend, would be bomber Kevin Fallon. Is it Jimmy Fallon? Any relation to Jimmy no. Fallon? No. Okay. Kevin Fallon, 30, went down the rabbit hole. Stop it. Just stop it, New York Post. April 9th, when he allegedly sent a text to friends and family announcing his intentions to blow up the 1959 bronze statue depicting Lewis Carroll's famously fraught tea party, as documents show. What an odd thing to choose. What an odd thing to take your anger out on. Right. Let me blow this out, especially at this time when no one's out. Right. When nobody's in I can see people getting mad at Columbus, like the Columbus statue in Columbus. I'm not saying blow it up, but I can understand anger at that guy for being just a shitty guy that we And a know. racist. Racist, terrible guy who killed people. Like, that's terrible why we have sailor. Columbus. Terrible sailor, didn't know what he was doing. Like, take your anger out on that guy. That is somewhat justifiable. But Lewis Carroll and fictitious characters at a tea party? Weird. On Saturday, he allegedly sent loved ones, including his ex-girlfriend and father, photos of a pipe bomb and rifle ammunition. I love that he said loved ones, including his ex-girlfriend, which I definitely think that he still, that's saying he still loves his ex-girlfriend. That's the problem. And I'm going to call Greg Barrett and be like, she's just not Not that that into you. you. Thanks, Barrett. No, but like the point is that, and father. I love that the father's- Loved ones, ex-girlfriend, and and father. father. So, well, maybe the ex-loved ones is one group. No, but it says including an ex-girlfriend and father. So I love that the father has now been separated and put in the same category of the love. Your father can't break up with you. Right. He is still your father. Even if your father runs out, still your father. Still going to be your dad. 
He might want to emancipate himself from you after you do this. But he is still your dad. So then he sends this chilling threat. Look both ways before you cross the street. This is going to hurt. None of you are safe. I am lethal. According to court documents. Okay. New York Post, again. We, you, I, you are we not cannot the stress story. enough. You are, please take yourself out of this story. Please Only don't try to be Only the cute. New York Post would make the potential blowing up of a statue in Central Park about them. I'm surprised they didn't make the, he was probably late, late for a very important date to yes. blow up a statue. Oh, that that. How come they didn't do that? that? They missed I'm that shocked. opportunity right How, there. There's, you failed at your own game, New York Post. You failed at your own game. So this dude sends pictures of a pipe bomb and his watch detonator and claims he's going to blow up the Alice in Wonderland the land statue in Central Park. Uh, okay. That'll teach him. Teach who? To, who is that going to teach? And what is it? To not have small statues in Central Park that, that some are people allude, don't even know about? That allude to... <clears throat> I, we lived in New York for five years. I didn't even know this statue existed. What a good call, as I said before, to do this when everyone's locked down. Yeah, no one's outside. Minimum impact. So yeah. the point is, you're going after characters in children's novels. That's fantastic. And you're doing it at a time do when... Do you want to clear your throat, <clears throat> Jay? Ah! Don't do that. And you're doing it at a time when no one's outside. Weird. Yeah. Minimum, Weird and Minimum impact. Yeah. Also, not a great call to send this to your ex-girlfriend. We kind of threw that out there. Spoiler alert, she's no longer in your life. She doesn't have your back, bro. Send her a dick pic if you have to. That's probably going to fare better than what you or did. Or a picture of you with your new girlfriend. Oh, yeah. This guy probably does not have a new girlfriend. That's there are a million other ways you can like show her a new job. Apple. Send her your bank statement yeah. if you're that kind of douchebag. You're sending her this just remind Teach her how tell give her a long lecture on how Bitcoin works. Okay. Sending her this, this post and this fo these photos of a pipe bomb is just reminding her how happy she is she's not with you. Yeah. This is like yeah. the the astronaut who drove five hundred miles in it, a this diaper is exactly that. in a diaper to tell the person that she that didn't want to be with her anymore that put 500 miles of distance drove straight through in a diaper so she didn't have to stop to tell the person that she loved him guess what he doesn't want to know that you're in it you smell like shit you smell like piss and he does you're just reminding him why he broke up with you in the first place it's the adele song never mind i'll find somebody like you she shows up at your house just to see what's going on just to <laughs> just to tell you that she's okay you can't send that in a you can't do that in an instagram post you can't send that in a thing like that. all that stuff social media was around back then you can tweet the person like that's an awkward moment like adele shows up i'm good just looking through your window great i'm to glad let you know how good i am i'm glad you're good because I was great until you showed up. But again, you're just reminding me why I shouldn't be oh, with you're, you. Oh, your son is bothered by me wanting to show up? Well, I'm Never just mind. watching I'll, him take I'll, a bath. You know what? Never mind that I drove all the way over here and just showed up at your door unannounced. I'll find someone like I'll you. I'll find someone just like you. Never mind. I'll find By the way, like I'll find someone like you is also a creepy thing to say to somebody. Yeah. yeah. But I'm fine. I'm fine. The more you say you're fine, but the less you're fine. But in that moment when someone says, I'll find someone like you, you're like, I'll help you find that person. Yeah. I would love it if you found someone like me so that I can just dish. So and put that energy on that person dish, when they break up with Dish you. the crazy off onto someone else. All right. Send your ex-girlfriend a plan of blowing up a beloved New York statue, and she'll come around. Yeah. You dumbass. Most amazing detail in the story. Oh, uh, this is insane. Kevin Kevin found 30 years old. They searched his Upper West Side apartment. I'm like, this dude has an apartment on the Upper 30, West Side? 30 and has an apartment. Now I'm having trouble believing the story if it's true. I mean, it it has to be a rent-controlled apartment at this point. Hang on. F office phone ringing. We don't care. We go right through on this thing. Yeah, so... Should we let it ring and then... No. Nobody who's 30 has an apartment in Manhattan, Jay, who... And wants to screw that up. No. Wants to do anything. To, if you are thirty and you have and you find yourself with your own apartment in Manhattan, by the way, that should be enough to get the girlfriend back. Yeah, to show her the keys to your apartment. I have hey. an apartment in Manhattan. Boom, she's Upper in. West Side. Upper West Side, right? No, but you, if you have an apartment in Manhattan, what you'll do is you'll jump on a grenade that's in the mail area next to the Amazon boxes just to preserve your apartment. You'll do anything to stop a bomb. Step up, represent from the Upper West. You don't think that... The, Money I, making. I'm telling you, I don't think that the co-op board is going to now approve the fact that you want to put a wall up in your apartment. Right. They, after you after show you the show, pipe bomb. Look, your pipe bombs are just pipe dreams. Do not... 
Do not, do not. If you, here's the thing. Have a friend, and I doubt this person has any friends. No at least friends. someone you know who you can go ahead and send the pictures to and just. What do you think? Should I send this to my ex-girlfriend? Nope. Should I? This gets back to having a no man in your posse. Whatever your posse is, no man in your posse. Should I do that? Nope. Should I call her? Absolutely no. not. Don't call her. Should I should I blow up the Alice in Wonderland statue? No. What, what, what? First of all, what Alice, Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland statue? statue? I didn't even know there was one. And then no. Absolutely do not. Do not do it. What's your beef with Lewis Carroll? I mean, he was a little weird and religious in a strange way, but what's your beef with Carroll? Cut that beef out. So Sad. Right. Should we take a break? Let's take a break. We'll take a break. We're taking a break on the earlier side, but we got a couple stories on the other side of this thing that I cannot wait to share with you. It's craziness. It's lunacy. It is happening in the world that we live in right now, and we are just trying to all live in it. And make fun of it, and make sense of it, and make you laugh at uh, it. Want to send another uh, voicemail, if we can, from a uh, from one of the other uh, podcasts that are in our stable, and or a little clip, so that you can give you something else, suggest something else for you to uh, listen to in this time of the pandemic. We've been listening to a lot of stuff. It's been helping us get through. Uh, if you go to our YouTube page, if you go to our Instagram, there's uh, a little up in the bio, a link where you can click onto our YouTube page. Subscribe. We are about, they're, they're in the process of finishing up the first batch of Cheap Seats episodes that are going to go up there. Very excited about that. Stand up on there. All these full episodes are up there. Just peruse around. Subscribe to that. We're trying to get over a thousand subscriptions in this first like week or so. Uh, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're on actually, our way. We're, we're on, on our way. way. So thank you to all those who subscribe. Please subscribe to that. Listen to this voicemail and uh, we'll see you on the other side of the break. Hey, Sklar Brothers, it's Jason from the Cliff Dorfman Show and CEO of Starburns Audio. First off, I just want to thank you guys for showing up and participating on uh, last Friday's episode of the Cliff Dorfman Live Show. It was amazing. You guys were so funny. I'm really excited to learn about what's going on in the strip clubs next. But the reason I was leaving you a voicemail is I just want to let you know that we are grateful for everything you're doing, all the comedy you're giving and all the, the support you've given to countless people with your generosity on these telethons and stuff. And to let you know that I'm trying to do that too here at Starburns Audio. We're raising money for service workers and we're just trying to get people paid. So on the Cliff Dorfman Live Show every day, we are giving away whatever money we raise that day to service workers that apply for it. So if you are in need, please email me at starburnsaudio at starburnsind.com. That's starburnsaudio at starburnsind.com. And let me know if you want to donate and we'll get that all set up for you. And let me know if you need help and we'll do our best to help you too. Randy, Jason, thank you for everything and uh, have a wonderful day. Bye. And he said, you gotta let the cello say. And he said, Hey guys, welcome back to the show uh, again. We appreciate you. Hope you guys are handling things okay. I know that social distancing has been, there was a report saying that it was going to go through 2022, which is insane, the off and on nature of it. But uh, I hope you're handling it okay. I look forward to a time when we can all get back together. We can perform live in front of people, get Absolutely. to hang out with friends. Until then, we have to deal with this and crazy stories. Now listen, on this next story, I love... When people, I'm going to look at this right now. I love when people get a DUI for driving something other than a car. Or a That's the best. DUI driving a train. Never seen that, but that could have a tractor, a Segway. You get a DUI, DUI driving, driving a, a Segway. Segway, a horse, riding a horse. People have gotten a DUI riding a horse, which is insane because it is the horse that is in fact driving. That's right. Golf cart. Golf cart. Well, in the time of social distancing and quarantine, you're going to see more drunk people on golf carts. I'm just going to say it out there. That's going to exist in the world. Yeah. People are going less greater distances. Maybe they're staying in their Stay closer uh, to home. neighborhoods and they're like, let me grab that golf cart. That's all I need. A driver in, I'm going to get this wrong, Sawasen, T-S-A-W-W-A-S-S-E-N, two W's. Where is that? Quadruple use. One more W. It's a website. Where is it? Swas Twasen. I have no idea. Out for an early morning ride in his golf cart, no less, was pulled over by Delta police. I don't know where Delta is. Early morning golf cart ride could mean one of two things, okay? You're playing golf and right. you're just getting- And you're your, wasted. Yeah. Are you running? Oh, no. It's the end. No. 
it is one of two things. Let me finish. It is you're either going to out to play a round of golf and it's super early in the morning and you're just getting a start or you're driving from your house to thing, or it's the end of a, a night of partying, a really fun night of partying, and this is your last joyride. And like Jay said, you are wasted. wasted at that point. I think point. you'd be wasted in both cases. I'm going to cap this night off with a little golf cart. Don't see, okay? <laughs> According to police, the driver was wearing... A bathrobe and slippers. So again, we don't know what part say of this night is. Night. I'm not going to say that. You never know. Late night. Was one of three suspected impaired drivers pulled over in the early morning hours on April 14th. Three. He's not the only one. We've got another. Like you know that that report came over the loudspeaker and the cops are like, "What?" He, another one. What? April Fools. He shouted, uh, "Sir, that was two weeks ago." This is like when Diana Ross at the Grammys had everybody there sing her happy birthday and her birthday was like in May. This was like February to May and everyone sang her happy birthday. I'm like, that's, that that's is, a flex. That that's is, a crazy it's flex. The weirdest, that's a power dumbest. flex in front April of you. April Fools. It's Mother the 14th. Rocker. All right. Officer was, this is great. Our officer was driving southbound on 52nd Street near 12th Avenue. Put that on your little uh, map. That's right. When he observed a golf cart driving northbound on 52nd. Now, see, I imagine that 52nd, 52nd is just a one way. Just a southbound, and this guy is <laughs> coming, coming out of the wrong way. On the wrong way. way. Right. Going northbound on a southbound 52nd could be a Hank Williams senior song. Going northbound on a southbound 52nd. That's yep. it. Yep. Said D Definitely not a Hank Williams Jr. song. Said the Delta Police Department in an email to the Optimist, which I guess is a, which is where we found this article. Thank you, Optimist. Thank you. Wondering why a golf cart was being driven on the roadway. They're so positive about this story. I know. The, optimist. the officer activated his emergency equipment, i.e. turned his siren on and started to then pulled over to right. check for the driver's insurance license and sobriety. I check for sobriety first because that, that one if will If you don't then, have the sobriety, then, then don't bet on the insurance exactly. and the license. If he blows a .2 on your breathalyzer test, he's done. If you pull him over and ask him to step out of the vehicle, he'll probably point to his head like he's really smart and be like, I'm already outside uh, I'm of the vehicle. There's no I'm doors. already in the outside of the vehicle. There are no doors. The vehicle. There are no doors on the this car. The vehicle. There's no doors in this car. That to me, when a drunk person starts talking slow and then gets fast, <laughs> or the logic is <laughs> no doors in this car, <laughs> no doors in this car. It, it's like they're on a roller coaster of words that like has gone down really fast. They're trying to beat you in an argument that you never were. Ah, there's no doors in this car. car. I got you. you. You didn't understand what I said. Boom! You just start clubbing him, and you can tase him, yeah, mace it, him, whatever you want. How many times? All you, those times, like. All those times as cops when you use the use too much force in the wrong instance. How many times do you think this guy on the golf cart was like, but Ossifer, I can I play through? Yeah, he can I that. play through? Can I? Yeah, no, you can't play through because you're on northbound on a fifty on the south. Upon approaching the golf cart, the officer detected a distinct odor of liquor and noted that the driver was wearing a bathrobe and slippers. Slippers. At least he put his damn slippers on. At least he didn't lose him along the way. He should have one, like one slipper. And if he had like, one slipper, he's like, he's like a male Cinderella. <laughs> Police say that the driver blew into the approved screening device, aka the breathalyzer, which registered a fail. That's not, not even a number. Not a .08. That's not even a number. Not a .14, which would have been bad. Not a .2. Not a .3, which is basically like pouring vodka into the screening device. We're talking about a fail. Fail means like you're done, man. You failed life right now. If you're, if it's early in the morning, you're in a robe and slippers, and you're drunk, and you're driving the thing. Right, like he must have gotten so drunk either while he was in his pajamas or he got drunk, got into his slippers and his robe and then went out for a ride. Do you, I don't think, do you think he's the kind of guy, Rand, and I'm asking this for real, that people can't stop? Or is he the kind of guy who's doing this on the down low and no one knows? Like everyone's asleep in his life. I think everyone's asleep in his life. Okay. The driver was then banned from driving for 90 days. That doesn't feel long enough. 90 days. And the golf cart was towed. I mean, the, the tow truck probably came and was like, are we what? really doing this? Are, am I really dragging when this When you're thing? banned from driving a golf cart, that is bad. That's like 
if you were that was like in that was so smart funny in the movie Book Smart. I love that movie. If you haven't seen Book Smart, I Jesus. highly recommend. I think it's one of the best high school movies. I put it up there in the same category as Clueless or Fast Nines. I really put it way up there. Ferris Bueller. I put Book Smart as a new classic. It is yeah. that good of a so movie. So funny. Great performances, great writing, great acting. Just un- mean shot. Mean Girls, really well. it's kind of in on un- un- I think it's put better than Mean Girls. That was my personal opinion. And I love Mean Girls, but Book Smart out of control good but there was that moment where the teacher's like I was banned from Jamba Juice that she's like that came down from corporate, corporate yeah so imagine if you're banned from like putt putts all across the country like your picture is up at every putt putt the national franchise chain of putt putts saying do not give this man a purple golf ball that's yeah. the equivalent of being banned from driving a golf cart for 90 days. While our roads are quieter than normal, please remember the normal rules of road apply and are being enforced, said the DPD. DPD. Yeah, DPD. Exactly. This feels like the kind of guy that would do it if the roads were full. Full, right? 100. This Doesn't guy doesn't like- care. It was a mere coincidence that this happened during the lockdown, I think. This is a guy who is drinking to die. We're watching it happen. It's yeah. playing itself out. He's yep. like, let me get out on the open road and see what happens to me. That's right. That's his attitude. And fortunately, he's okay. But And fortunately, no one else was hurt. Unfortunately, he's not allowed to drive a golf cart ever again. All right. And finally, we've got a story that we have to get to because it happened last this past Sunday, right? Easter. We're already we're already re- Easter's in the in the rear view. Easter's but we got in the rear view, but we're getting into it right now, and we've, we're going to put a bow on Easter right here with this gem of a story that happened this past weekend. A Florida woman, it's enough said. Only Florida could ruin Easter. You know what I mean? How hard of a holiday is that to screw up? For the non-secular, for the non-religious, for the secular, for the secular. I mean, for the non-religious, all you got to do is put candy out and eggs, and then. Throw the eggs around in your yard. You don't even have to hide the eggs. Yeah. And then kids go out it, and then they get the stuff. It's like, to me, it's like springtime Halloween. Yeah. I want to call Easter springtime Halloween. Yeah. Because if you're not celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. Even even Jews can do springtime Halloween. Sp- Jews can do springtime. How difficult is it to put Hershey Kisses into things and just throw them into your I've yard? I've done it. My kids love it. My kids love it. Without the costumes and the resurrection of Jesus... I mean, it is kind of springtime. What is Halloween but resurrection of ghosts? Ghosts coming back to haunt, coming back from the dead. You could call Easter Dia de los de la Lo, muerta. muerta, de lo muerto. muerto. De lo, one guy, it's one the day of the back. dead guy. One guy comes back, but it's like Halloween's more fun because everyone's dressing up. But like Easter's, you know, it's, yeah, that's what it could be. Springtime Halloween. So, a Florida woman was arrested. Not an Easter thing, but hey, hey l- listen, let, let, let's let's talk. Florida one was arrested after allegedly placing Easter eggs canadi- containing pornographic images and non-threatening references to churches in mailboxes. Authorities said, "I love this woman. I love, I this love woman. her so much. Subversive, funny. Kids aren't looking at mailboxes. Yeah, kids yeah. are not looking in mailboxes. This is to me. I'm like, I'm not against this woman at this point. It's an adult joke. It is. At least she doesn't like fashion her own feces into tiny balls and, and then, then hide, hide those and making kids for, or put those in things that kids could find. Like, let's look at the bright Who, side. Like, who is the victim here? Really, when we think about it, who is victimized by a pornographic image in chocolate? Is that what it is? I don't know. April. I'm gonna give her name. April Sestoni. 42. It's not April. It's April. April. And anytime, would, anytime someone's name is just like a, a hair off from what you well, expect to be. Well, I think that's Spanish for Abril is like, Abril is Spanish a- for, S- but I'm going to call her April. April. I think it's Abril. It's like Avril Lavigne. Right. That should have been April Lavigne. Exactly. But no, we're going to make it Avril. All uh, right. April. F- 42. Uh, She's uh, 42. She should know better at 42. Exactly. Arrested Wednesday after she admitted to disturbing the eggs. Distributing. Distributing. I said disturbing the and eggs. they are disturbing eggs. Disturbing the eggs and claims she was educating people. That's all she's doing? The Flagler County Sheriff's Office said. But she's just educating that, people. That sounds like a little bit of revisionist history. Wow, Educa- I was just educating I was, people. Right, I was just educating people. I was About sexuality. Ed- educating people on the reverse cowgirl or the dirty Sanchez. These maybe. people got to know. 
A bag of pornographic material was found inside Celestini's or Sestoni's car. And she Sestoni's to- are like those when you toast wafers. No, no, when you make toast and then you put uh Tomatoes. Those are Crustinis. Oh. And she told deputies that she had distributed more than 400 pamphlets throughout the county over the past few days. The sheriff's office said the plastic Easter eggs also allegedly included non-threatening references to county buildings and various other items. Yeah, you can't mention buildings. It, even in, an, in a non-threatening way, you just can't mention it. It's like saying, I sure hope nothing happens to this post office. You, you cannot say that. You, even if you want, even if you, de- even if you're just being honest, even I if you're saying to yourself, any, I love my post office. I don't want anything to happen to my post office. You can't <laughs> say that out loud. So the porn I'm thinking is way better than the non-threatening building references. Like she would have gotten away way with, with it, it if it was, there were no non-threatening building references. If you make there. reference to a building ever, 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 people are going to assume you're going to blow I've said up this about building. porn. If there's a shot of a building in porn, that's too much backstory. I don't want any exterior shots. Keep Just- the buildings out of the porn. The sheriff's office asked for the public's help in a Facebook post on Monday uh, after a caller reported finding an Easter egg in her mailbox containing a cracker in the shape of a fish. Is that a Jesus thing? One sheet of toilet paper. Je- Jesus was a cracker. Yeah. One sheet of toilet paper, a powdered drink mix, and a crumpled up piece of paper containing pornographic images. Happy is- Easter. <laughs> Here's the silent square. Here's the shape of a but fish. It, it is like Here's a... Here's the powder drink and your porn. It's a... Happy Easter! It is a grab bag of crazy. That's the only thing that I can say to describe what this she woman distributed. This is spreading a little... Hu- and here's cheer. the non-threatening statement about, about a, building. a building. I'm just educating people. <laughs> she was spreading a little holiday cheer by showing pictures of women spreading themselves. What is wrong with that? She's out... The manhunt. I mean, she's out. She's out of her mind, and she's out in the world just distributing that. Like to me, there's something kind of beautiful about. It's the fact- like it. Sh- it mirrors Easter. So now people, she's almost like a. She is the Easter egg that like now an, they're hunting for. She's, <laughs> she's out there. They have to find. They have her. to find her. It's she's like, like an Easter she? elf. I would love for her to be just encased in plastic in someone's <laughs> garden, and someone's like, "I got her. I found the one." All right, let's get back. Our team did a great job tracking this deranged defender down and taking her into custody. It was like an Easter egg thing. Sheriff Rick Staley said in a statement, thankfully, she did not appear to be sick with COVID-19 symptoms, but she certainly needs help. She must, she could have blamed it on COVID. If I'm in her corner, I'm saying blame it on COVID. The COVID done got me good. Easter egg porn should be a thing. I think yes. At the Bunny Ranch, the new play, the Playboy Mansion, which is being remodeled. You know the Playboy is Mansion. Is it really being? I saw remodeled? an overhead shot of the Playboy Mansion. They showed like the grotto in that area where it's being remodeled. Is the grotto now in the shape of Fred Durst's backwards red baseball cap? Yeah, like I'm swimming in a giant pool of Durst, which could have been said in the old grotto yeah, when he was in there. I'm You're swimming in a pool giant pool, pool of Durst. Of Durst. Sistoni was charged with 11 counts of distributing obscene material, uh, as well as driving with a suspended license. Uh, she was also charged with violating Florida State Home Order. Of course she has a suspended license. Of course her license was suspended. I'm going to say that this woman did not does not have insurance or registration. I'm going to say this woman like is not the kind of woman who's like, oh, it's due in May. I better turn this in in February. No, she does not. The sticker on her license plate is from 2012, and it's not even cut, so you could just rip it right off. I'm going to say she, this woman hasn't been to a dentist in years. I'm just going to say that right now. I'm going to say this woman's not allowed to be... 500 yards that close to a school. I'm going to say she smells like peach schnapps. I'm just going to throw that out there I'm right now. I'm going to say this is the kind of woman who exposes herself to cats. I'm going to say this woman is the type of woman that's never uh, read a book that she liked. I'm going to say this is the kind of woman who is good at Zaxxon. Amazing. I'm going to say this is the type of woman that's eaten from a bird feeder before. <laughs> 
That's who she is. That's who she is. And that's who we are. Guys, that is the show. Thank you so much uh, for listening and watching and subscribing and all that stuff. Subscribe to it this on uh, iTunes if you haven't. Rate it, review it. We would love it. Uh, that always helps us out. And uh, go punch a water faucet. Then go wash your hands. Stay socially distanced, but stay socially connected, connected with people. Uh, we love you guys, and we'll see you uh, Monday. la di da la di da di da di da la di da da